how to prove a quadrilateral is cyclic example number one. Let us look at the theorems and converses of a cyclic quadrilateral. Number one, if A, B, C, D is a cyclic quad, then angle D1 is equal to angle B. The converse is if angle D1 is equal to angle B, then we can conclude that ABC is a cyclic. Right, number two, if ABCD is a cyclic quad, then you can conclude that angle B is equal to angle C. And the converse is if angle B is equal to angle C, then you can conclude that ABCD is a cyclic quad. Number three, if ABCD is a cyclic quad, then you can conclude that angle A plus angle C is equal to 180, or angle B plus angle D is equal to 180. The converse is if angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees, or angle B plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees, then you can conclude that ABCD is um, a cyclic quad. So how to prove a quadrilateral is cyclic? You need to show one of the hypotheses of the converse theorems. These are the three converse theorems that we have seen. So you show any hypothesis of any of the three. You only choose one, right? So as an example, we have um, in the diagram LK is a diameter of a circle center P R N S is a tangent to the circle at N T is a point on N K and T P is perpendicular to K K N then angle P L N is X so we want to prove that um, T P L N is a cyclic quad so let me show the diagram itself that we are supposed to prove that it's cyclic. Right, that's the diagram. That's the quadrilateral we want to prove that it is cyclic. So, as step number one, know the postulates, theorems, definitions, and properties involved in the problem you are solving. In this problem, the given information, we are given LK is a diameter. We can deduce that angle subtended by diameter is equals to 190 degrees. Right then, B, we are given tangent RNS, right? We know that from a tangent, we can deduce that angle between the tangent and the chord is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. Two, tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact, right? See, we are also given that the straight line RNS, and we can deduce from the straight line that adjacent angles on a straight line add up to 180. So the given information is just there to trigger in your mind all the postulates, theorems, definition, and the properties associated with that information that you should remember for use in the um, demonstration itself, right? So as number D, we are saying, again, in the given diagram, there are triangles, but what can we deduce if we see that there are triangles? You should remember that some interior angles of a triangle add up to 180, exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of interior opposite angle. That is important. Then again, you realize in the diagram, we have a quadrilateral. So what can we deduce from that quadrilateral? We are saying some interior angles of a quad is equal to 360, right? Again, we are told that TP is perpendicular to KL, and we can deduce that angle TPL is equals to 90 degrees because the word perpendicular refers to a 90 degree angle. Now your step number two, know what you are trying to prove or show. 
that is the hypothesis, right? So scan which hypothesis of the three converse theorems, right? That are present in the quadrilateral we wanted to prove is cyclic, right? That's the quadrilateral one to prove is cyclic, right? So we want now to find the hypothesis associated with this um, quadrilateral as it is, right? So the hypothesis of, we are looking at the converse of the exterior angle equal to interior opposite angle. You realize that T angle T2, right? Is exterior, why exterior? Because when you try to check the exterior angles, you make sure that you check each side of the quadrilateral. Is there an extension of any side? You see that of the four sides, we have an extension here. We have another extension here. So in essence, we have two exterior angles. This is number one. Then the other one is this one. So this information is what is written there, right? Then from there, we look at the converse of opposite angles, cyclic quad. That means this is a question of adding. We have T1 and X, they're opposite, then N2 and P. So those are the angles we are supposed to pair and add. So those are, will be the hypothesis, right? Then we then look at now, Step number three, the diagram is a visual to help you to think how you should start. Start to show the hypothesis with an end in mind. So we are saying this is what we eventually want to conclude to say TPLN is a cyclic quad. But we have to choose any one of the hypotheses that we have already seen that are present in the diagram. So I have chosen to show that um, angle T1 and angle X, if you add them, they'll give you 180. That's the hypothesis. That is the one I'm supposed to show, right? So if that is the case, let us look at the two column proof presentation, right? You write the statement and the reason. So one other thing, you should be guided by where you want to arrive because I wanted to show this. So that is an equation. And as an equation, then wherever I'm going to start, I have to come up with an equation. But this question, again, the two angles I'm dealing with, I should add them, right? So I have to think of how I should formulate an equation wherein I include T1 and X, but they'll be adding each other, right? So in this case, you would have seen that in the information, we realized that we are given a quadrilateral LNTP. So we deduced that if you add the interior angles, they give you 360. So this is exactly what I did here. I added them to give me 360. Then from there, I'll see what I can do. But this is not the only one. There are so many ways because if you look into the diagram again, you realize that this angle is subtended by um, the diameter KN, and again, it's opposite to this. If you add them, they give you what? 180 degrees, isn't it? So you can still start from there, but I've started from here. Then from here now, I go on to check on, right? I'm happy because I have my T1 is there and my X is there. But what I don't want is the, um, the, the what? N2. I don't want this, I should remove this so that I remain with what I want. So the next thing now would be to realize that N, angle N2, right, is equal to 90 degrees because it's subtended by a diameter, right? It was in the information. Then angle T, PL was a given information is indicated in the diagram. Then from there, I substitute these values in one, where there is those angles, I put that, then I end up with this expression. Then from here, I carry out my algebra, that is 
90 plus 90, 180, they go to the other side, subtract, you remain with 180. So I have achieved, I've arrived at my hypothesis, right? I have shown, right? So in this case now, I conclude that TPLN is a cyclic quark using the converse of opposite angle cyclic quad because this hypothesis right is only referring to this they are opposite so i've shown that sure if you add them get 180 so i'm using the converse of the theorem opposite angle cyclic quad and my um proof is complete okay let us quickly look at the key takeaways it's like one, um, how to prove a quadrilateral is cyclic. You show one of the hypotheses of the converse theorems. You have seen the three of them. It's important there's no two ways about it, right? You choose anyone after realizing that they are present in your um, diagram given, right? Then step number two, these are the steps to tackle the deductive geometry proof. You have step one, know the postulate, theorems, definitions, and properties involved in the problem you are solving. Step number two, know what you are trying to prove or show. That is the hypothesis. This is very, very important. The hypothesis of the converse theorems of a cyclic quadrilateral knowing what is it that you are trying to prove is the key to solving any proof problem bear that in mind right step number three the diagram is a visual to help you to think how you should start to show the hypothesis with an end in mind you have seen that the diagram we are given we had a quadrilateral, which then I used to sum the angle inside to equate to what? To 360 degrees. That's the purpose of the given diagram that it helps you think to say, where should I start? So you start guided by the hypothesis. So for me to add the interior angle of a quadrilateral, I was guided by the hypothesis where I wanted to arrive using the known postulate. So the postulate was if I add the interior angle, they give me 360 degrees. So it could be a theorem, it could be a definition or properties present in the given information and the diagram, right? So at this point, I think I've done what I thought I could do. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.